Hello guys, welcome to my channel and this is my 2024 K-pop top 10 review um, Apologies, I am recording this at 2am in the morning so I do not want to disturb my neighbors so let's get it started So first up, at number 10 we have QWER with TVH aka Go Min Jun Do Yeah, apologies, my Korean is pretty bad but uh, yeah, this is uh, one of my favorite songs that um, has come out this year. Uh, yeah, it came out of nowhere and it's pretty good. So at number 9 we have eyelids. Um, uh, I was about to say magnetic, but uh, yeah, we have Cherish. This might be a little bit uh, recency bias, but yeah, it's here. At number 8 we have Kiss of Life Stick It To be honest, I don't listen to this that often but when it does come up, I do appreciate it At number 7, we have Magnetic this time Overplayed but it's addicting, that's why they get number 7 because they are lucky girls At number 6, we have Ah, but uh, but uh, ah, but uh, but uh, I mean, what, what more do I have to say about this song? At number 5, we have New Jeans Bubblegum Tough year for them, but Bubblegum is one of their better songs this year. At number 4 we have Triple S, Girls Never Die. This song carried my depressing exam period this year, so I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. At number 3 we have IU, Love Wins All. I don't think this is a surprise for anyone that knows me. I went to the Berlin and London concert this year and it was the best show ever. At number 2, Stand, QWERs, My Name is Mongo. Before you say where's the boy groups, where's the Seraphim, where's the Ive, um, this is my personal opinion. They have good songs this year, but it's just not on my top 10. I'm sorry. Instead, you get a chorus based part this year. Surprise, surprise, as the biggest IU stand at number one, we have IU's I Stand You. After their two concerts, 36 songs out of the 50 most listened in my Spotify playlist are IU songs. So, there's your explanation. I think I will keep standing IU for a while. 